Manny Pacquiao versus Sugar Shane Mosley on Saturday. Will the Pac-Man give Mosley his first ever knockout, or will Sugar Shane Mosley pull off an upset? That and more. Scabble by in LA starts right now. Today on the show, marami po tayong pag-uusapan. In entertainment, we have the results or what happened over last weekend sa premiere ng Subject I Love You. Also in sports, we're going to be talking about Manny Pacquiao. Also sa ating Simply Legal portion, we're going to be simplifying family law for you this afternoon. Pero syempre, dahil po Wednesday, it's the hump day. We also have news for you coming from Balita. Ronnie Ligo, Editor-in-Chief of Midweek and Weekend Balita, joining us from their newsroom in Glendale. Magandang hapon sa'yo. Magandang hapon sa'yo, Janelle. At I'm sure lahat ng kababayan natin, ano, all, uh, in all parts of the world, I very excited sa mangyayari sa Sabado. Of course, we all know that Manny Pacquiao is favored to win. Uh, and what are the odds sa Vegas ngayon? Oh, at the moment, ano, kahapon ng report namin, 4 to 1 favorite siya, ibig sabihin, you have to uh, wager at least $400 para manalo ka ng 100 ano? Mm -hmm. e Ganun din ang uh, ano ngayon ang, uh, uh, ang ads nila. Pero, however, come uh, fight night, siguro tataas daw yun ng 7 to 1. Magiging 7 to 1 favorite ang ating paboritong si Manny Pacquiao. Oh, so yung mga gustong tumaya, kailangan tumaya na sila as early as now before it goes up, correct? That's true. Sana nga, no? Ganyan nga mangyari, no? Para yun ang inahawakan mong ads. And some people are just hedging, no? Uh, well, yung mga talagang, uh, I guess they love to bet. They're just hedging their bets. And at the same time, some people are saying it's better to to bet on the exact round. That's true. Pero alam mo, ang, ang tingin natin dyan eh, kasi sa laban nga, ina-expect nila, this might be the first knockout of Mosley. Inaasahan natin sana mangyari nga yan. Pero of course, Mosley has something to say. At sinasabi niya na baka the world will be surprised pagka siya naman ah, nagpatumba sa ating paboritong uh, boxingero si Manny Pacquiao. And I know, Ronnie, that you've been covering boxing as well. What do you you think of this fight? Obviously, uh, mostly is bigger. Um, he's, uh, they're saying that he's the fastest among all the opponents of Pacquiao then and now. And, and now he, he provides Pacquiao with really a legitimate challenge, no? Oh, oh, not only that, this will be the first, like uh, what they're saying, a Bronx fighter, no? a, uh, a U.S. American, uh, I mean, African American boxer, na katulad ni Sugar Shane Mosley, talagang legitimate uh, world champion, na alam naman natin, maraming uh, kinalaban niya, sila Oscar De La Hoya, kahit si Floyd Mayweather, Weather, hinarap niya sila Antonio Margarito no talagang matibay hindi yan tumutumba si Sugar Shane mostly and at he, malalaman natin at uh, alam naman natin mas malaki siya kay uh, Manny Pacquiao Manny Pacquiao and he actually hurt um, Floyd Mayweather when they last fought there was a third round there when, where Mayweather looked like he was about to fall but anyways um, we have more news about that for you here on Cabo Bay in LA we actually got to interview both camps and we have a package for you later on in the show abangan niyo po yan Ronnie in our second news story uh, bukod sa laban ng Manny Pacquiao and Sugar Shane mostly anti at Pro RH Bill ngayon ang mga naglalaban sa Philippines. Ang pinag-uusapan mo dyan ay ang reproductive health bill. Ano? Ngayon naglalabas na ng mga posters at mga ribos at lahat ng paraphernalia against o pro uh, reproductive health bill. Ang Bishop's Conference of the Philippines, ang mga obispo sa atin, ang naglalabas sila ng red ribbon at, uh, at sinasabi nila kasi nga ang uh, red daw ay pro-life. That's the color of, of life. Ano? So in, they're urging all the faithful to go against this bill. All right. And what do you think is going to happen, Ronnie? We all know that the Philippines is a predominantly Catholic country, but I, I'm talking to a lot of people. I'm, I'm seeing that uh, and realizing that some of them are actually uh, in favor of the RH bill. Alam mo, minsan, Notwithstanding eh, the religion. Yes, no? Malaman kung uh, ang pagsisimba sa atin, eh, of course, it's a habit, not only a habit, because we are faithful. You know? However, pagka sinasabi naman ng simbana, you have to do this and you have to do that, eh, alam naman natin ang huling survey noon, ang sinasabi nila, they are in favor of the bill na kung saan uh, pwedeng magkontrol ng population na uh, rate sa atin. Alam naman natin na uh, napakarami nating uh, kababayan. We are almost 100 million uh, Filipinos. All right, so definitely we're going to be closely monitoring the developments of that issue. For now, Ronnie, thank you so much for sharing those news stories with us today. Maraming salamat po sa inyo and of course, ang aming pong website, balita.com. Also, meron din po silang midweek and weekend uh, edition. Of course, like what Ronnie said, more news and features on their website, www.balita.com. I also have a weekly column there. Um, so, yeah, check that out also. And my column in the actual paper comes out every Saturday. So, please, um, balita.com. Magbabalik ko po ang Kababayan LA. Simply legal when we return. Don't go away.